Welcome to this week's Release the Kraken, presented by Disavowed Marketing. Today we are going to talk about the echo chamber. Now I know it sounds ominous, it might even sound downright horror movie, but what it really boils down to is, it's when it, an echo is, is obviously when sounds repeated back to you, it's bouncing off a surface, and an echo chamber is when you start with one echo and they all start building up and they keep going over and over and over. It's, have you ever stood at the edge of a mountain and yelled and or canyon and heard that echo just echo, 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 echo into the distance? That's what an echo chamber is. It's an echo chamber is when one thing, when you say one thing and it repeats itself over and over and over. Each echo keeps causing another echo. And a mar in marketing, an echo chamber is when you create a piece of marketing material and it echoes through different formats and keep repeating itself. So. A, a great example of an echo chamber is viral marketing. It's when someone puts something out and all of a sudden that's all people can talk about for the next week or two. That's uh, what an echo chamber is. It's that viral marketing. So how do you create one of these echo chambers? Well, the best echo chamber is when something goes viral all on its own. Everyone is sharing and talking about your picture, your video, or your product. But we can recreate this type of viral marketing through different Web 2.0 properties and social media. That brings us to if this, then that, IFTTT. This is one of the greatest automation marketing tools that there is. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard about it. I'm sure even some of you have tried to set up a recipe. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a little bit more detail on how you automate your marketing where you can syndicate this across different channels and you can one, you're building links and two, you're content marketing. So you're getting more people to read your information and that way they can learn more about you, about your service or about your product with obviously the ultimate goal being sales. But that's not the point of content marketing. Content marketing is about building that trust and that authority with someone. And if this then that, IFTTT, helps us do that. So let's look at what we have here. So you have a blog and you're writing articles on a weekly or a monthly basis. Hopefully you're writing them on a um, weekly basis, if not two or three times a, uh, a week. And you have a YouTube channel. And maybe you're putting out a video once a week, twice a week, again, hopefully. And if at the very beginning you're doing it once a month, that is the right direction. So now you produce content and you put out there. You write your blog post, you make your video, and that's where it ends. Now you're hoping that Google will index these links and somebody will search for your keyword and they will then come to your website to read your information. That doesn't always work. And it's not always that powerful. And I, I hate discouraging people in the beginning because it's important to be doing that. But what the reality of the situation is, is you're not going to go from zero traffic to uh, 100 people a day visiting your website just by writing out a blog article. You need to market that information so people are aware that you're creating this content so that way they can go and read it. And again, you're building up that trust and that authority. So now we have a Facebook fan page or a Facebook page that we're building fans through and we're getting likes and everything is great. Well, the great thing about IFTT is that we can then post that information. We can put our YouTube video automatically on our Facebook page and we can have our blog post automatically go to our Facebook page every time we hit the publish button. Now, what is this doing for us? First, it's saving us time. Second, what it's doing is, is it's syndicating our content across these channels. And the third, it's that building those links. And the more links that you have from authority websites and authority content, the better your website will rank in Google. It's what we're here for. Now, we also have Blogger. Now, Blogger is just like WordPress. It's a, it's a blog format. And <clears throat> what we want to make sure that we're not doing is, is that we're not creating duplicate content. So we wouldn't want to post our WordPress blog over to um, blogger because that's just the same information and if Google finds the blogger link first and then finds our link on our blog it's going to give more credit to the blogger article than it will be to our WordPress blog post and we don't want that but what we can do is post a video to 
to our blogger page. This is more of a curated content where we're putting everything there and we're creating those links back to our website. And that's what the ultimate goal is. And then by using the YouTube over there, we can avoid that because videos are reposted and they're put out on different sites all of the time. And the reason why is, is because a Google ma YouTube makes it very easy. They include the information there for you to share it and for you to embed that um, or your, put that video on your blog. So it makes sense for um, Google that your YouTube video is getting reposted. So now we have it on our Facebook page. <clears throat> and we post that blogger article on our Facebook, uh, blogger post onto our Facebook page. And again, we're creating more of those links. We're giving people more of a way to digest and to view this information. And th that, again, makes it create another link that leads back to our website. But what about all of the other social and uh, social media and Web 2.0 properties? Tumblr, LinkedIn, there's book uh, marking websites called Delicious and um, Digo or Dig, which is like Reddit, which are, which is these all this information across the the web gets submitted onto these platforms, and the users vote this content up. So it's another market for you to expose your information to. And you have Twitter, Instagram, and Flickr. Now Flickr, everyone always looks at me like this strange, but if you're posting pictures to your Flickr account, then you're getting more links when you tell them find out more information about this infograph go over to our website and what you can do with IFTT is take this information and post it all the way across all of these mediums so you have one blog post and you'll end up with 10 different links just by hitting submit and you'll put do one YouTube video and end up with 11 different links just by hitting submit and that is one of the the that's the echo in the echo chamber is when you create your content and you post it you've made the first echo and using IFTT to have it echo further and more and spread it across these different platforms is what's going to create the con is what's going to <clears throat> create the links it's also going to expose your information and it's going to allow more places for more people to discover it so you can get those 100, 200, 500 visitors a day or <clears throat> getting more and building that trust and authority with different people across different markets. Now, there's other things that you can do with it as well besides just posting, reposting and syndicating your, your content. Now, I am all about automation. In fact, if I can automate it, I am it's I will spend however many hours it takes to set it up. But what I don't automate is I don't automate content and I don't automate interaction. And why but that I mean is is I don't pull together different information and just put it on a, a, a blog post or a video and say ta-da usually that's those are garbage you want to create the content and the other thing is is I don't create uh, automate interactions so if you tweet us or you send us a Facebook message or you send us an email or whatever it is how whatever platform you reach out to us we respond ourselves in real time so it might take us five minutes it might take us an hour to get back to you but at the end of the day you are speaking with a human you're not speaking with a computer, you're not speaking with a robot, you're speaking one-on-one -on -one with a human and you're getting that interaction. So, automating. Let's get back, sorry for my tangent. Automating. So, the other thing that I do is, is at, the, at a specific time of day, every single day, I send out a tweet or I send out a message on Facebook. And IFTT allows us to do that. So every day I might say, hey, check out our newest blog post with a, a link to that. Or on Facebook, same thing. Check out our newest blog post. Twitter, like our fa um, Facebook fan page so you can find out more information about small business marketing. Or you can learn our newest uh, you know, marketing tips for the week and things like that. This allows that information to constantly be in front of people.
what we found through different marketing um, studies and things like that, it takes seven to ten times for people seeing your face, your brand, your information, whatever the case may be about your product or your service before they will make a purchase. And, that, and at the end of the day, you want to get that information out as, more, as much as possible. So what is IFTTT and how does this magical being work? Well, what it is is you create different recipes. So your if this then that is your recipe. And what your this is, is that's your trigger. So if I post a blog post, then what do, I, what do you want it to do? I want it to post to Facebook. If I post to Facebook, I want it to post to LinkedIn. And if I post it to LinkedIn, I want it to post to Twitter and so on and so forth. And that's how you create these. So if I put, lo, upload a video to YouTube, then I want you to upload that video to Blogger to make that blog post. If I upload the video to YouTube, then I want you to post it to Facebook. And then and it goes on, so on and so forth. Now, you have to create a recipe for each step. So from WordPress to Facebook, from Facebook to Twitter, from Twitter to LinkedIn, from LinkedIn to um, Dig, from Dig to Reddit, you have to post it all, you have to create those circles. And there's there's no right way or wrong way to do it or in what order, and what it, what it boils down to is, is just moving information from one website to the next and saying that if it's posted to here, I want you to then post it to here. So. When it comes to marketing, you always want to ask your who, what, why, where, and how. So who are we targeting? What is our, our demographic? Your demographic might not be on Twitter. It might not be on Facebook. And that's understandable. But it's not always just, then you have to look at what are you trying to accomplish. So maybe it's getting those links so you can get those people. Nowadays, five years ago, not everyone was on Facebook and Twitter. Nowadays, a majority of every generation and everyone that you're targeting has a Facebook page, has a Twitter account, has sees these the different benefits to all of these different social media and Web 2.0. So just remember, it's not so much about who you're targeting in the sense of where you're posting this information to. It's when you're looking on each individual platform that you are um, targeting the right people on there. So it might change how I word my marketing material, it might change what pictures I use, it might change exactly who I'm friend requesting. You know, I wouldn't, if I'm targeting homeowners, I'm not going to target, I'm not going to become friends with everyone that is a in college and so on and so forth. So just think of that, keep that into consideration, although it might not necessarily weigh very heavily on your decision here, especially if your goal is to get more links back to your um, website. So what is your ultimate goal of um, th this marketing plan? So is it getting more links? Is it getting more interactions with your customer base? Is it, it should, the only thing that it should not be is sales. Because in content marketing, we don't want the focus to be sales. We want the focus to be that trust and authority. So where are we putting our marketing information? If if it doesn't make sense for us to have a Facebook page, it doesn't make sense. If we are not putting it in front of the people that are actually going to pull in this information, then it, we, we shouldn't do that. And that's the part of that who are we targeting part. So if I'm targeting readers of the Washington Post, my best piece of marketing would be to put an ad in the Washington Post. It would be to interact with people on their website by commenting on their articles and and replying to different people who ask questions underneath in the comment section. It wouldn't make sense for me to go to my small town newspaper and say, I want to put an ad so I can get the, everyone who reads the Washington Post and your you know little newspaper to come to my website. It's not going to be as beneficial. Why go through this process? So setting up this can be, I wouldn't say difficult, but it's very time consuming. And the reason why we go through this process is because it, once it's done, it's done. And it automatically works day in and day out, no matter what is going on. And 
it automates the process. So even though we're going to spend a lot of time initially setting it up, once we do, then we have that problem solved. And how are we doing this? So that's the other part. So we are doing this through IFTTT. That is how we are doing it. That is where we are syndicating this information. So what can we use IFTT for besides the syndication? Well, we can use it for lead generation, content marketing, which is that syndicating of the blog posts, automation, we are automating different steps. Um, you know, IFTT is not just for marketing. If you have a Nest thermostat, you can have it so every time you connect to your wireless router, it turns the air conditioning down or the heat up. So IFTT has a lot of benefits, not just for marketing, but also day-to-day -day life. But obviously for this part, we're talking about that automation. Syndication, which is what we went over today and curating content. Now, why would we want to curate content? So if I read a lot of different blogs, I might want that information to come into my email every single day, so that way I can uh, you know, read it, absorb it. Maybe I'm a locksmith who is learning about all of the newest different techniques or the newest tools that are coming out, or I'm in lawn care and there's a you know, a fertilizer company that is, you know, organic and putting out all this information about the best way to treat lawns and get rid of weeds and to um, grow trees that are thicker, fuller, with sweeter fruit. That, I would want that information as soon as it came out, instead of me spending the time checking all of these different sources to see if the information come out, that it's automatically delivered to me so that way I can either and, you know, I can create a blog post that's going over the benefits of this new product and why you guys should um, purchase it or why I'm using it on your lawn as I'm, you know, doing my weekly and monthly maintenance at your property. So think about that. It, it, it's a great way to give you more ideas and information for creating your information uh, for creating your blog posts and all that content that you're going to be publishing through this IFTTT ne network. The other thing is is for brand monitoring for your online reputation management ORM. So every time somebody mentions my brand, I want to know about it. Good, bad or ugly, I want to have the chance to either thank them or to reach out to them, apologize, and that way I can fix the, the problem. So you can set it up so every time somebody mentions disavowed marketing, boom, I get an email every single day and I can use that so that way I, could, that I can then reach out to them. So that's one of the key parts for um, IFTTT as well, it's not just that. So let's take one of these, because we, well, we already talked about the syndication, we already kind of talked about brand management, but, uh, brand monitoring, but what I want to talk about real quick is just lead generation and how you can use um, if this then that for your lead management, so, uh, lead generation, sorry. So right here, send yourself emails for new Craigslist postings from any search that you're interested in. So say that I'm in lawn uh, care and I want to know every time somebody posts an ad on Craigslist looking for somebody to mow their lawn or there's um, a office building that's looking for an, a different company. I can have it send me an email every single time, day in and day out, that someone posts that information. So I might go to bed with nothing, wake up in the morning, and all of a sudden I have two or three leads from people that have posted an ad on Craigslist. It doesn't mean that I'm going to that they're going to f trip over themselves to, um, you know hire my company but it, what it does is it at least says hey this person's looking for that information and as far as marketing that's what the whole goal is that's why we put our information in front of people so they know hey if I have this problem this person can solve it now this the what IFTT is allowing you to do with Craigslist and sending you the email is for somebody to say hey I have a problem and I'm looking for somebody to solve it well I want to thank you very much for spending the time with us as always, I would like to have you come over to disavowedmarketing.com, read some of our blog posts, uh, sign up for our newsletter, and at the very least, subscribe to these videos so that way you can get notified immediately. And also, down at the bottom, please um, give us a thumbs up and read the show notes for a little bit more information as well as um, 
the links to IFTTT and I will also include the, um, another link to all the different recipes that we use when we set up our content marketing. This is just the, the very basics to get you started. It's something that you're going to want to grow and to you know, maintain as always with your marketing and with your different social media and web 2.0 websites. Thank you very much and have a great day.